Eventually, Mark Avery buys eight L-39s, and the question is, why? I think they bought them initially because they had a lot of money, and they thought they were cute airplanes. I don't think they had any plan whatsoever for how to use them. There was no business plan. Uh, I asked him that. His response was, since we had it, they would come. It seems, with Rob Kane's encouragement, Mark Avery has bought himself a small air force that has no purpose. And so when Joe Griffith is hired to fly the jets, he comes up with ideas. The jets could be used by the air force as opposition aircraft to train pilots for combat. Or maybe they could tow targets so pilots can practice shooting at a moving enemy in the air. Believe me, that's a whole different bag than shooting at a fixed target on the ground. As word spreads that security aviation is putting up a fleet of fighter jets, experienced pilots from across the country arrive in Anchorage. Put some good guys, the real deal. I mean, they were combat veterans and doing civilian work in Afghanistan and Iraq. Finally. Mark Avery finds himself in the high-action military world where he always wanted to be. An all-new American Greed, Mondays, 10 Eastern, CNBC. Get yours.